What keyword is used to define a function in Python? Answer. Def. Explanation. In Python, we use def, short for define, to create functions. It's literally one of the first things you learn. The syntax looks like this. No curly braces needed like in other languages. Python keeps it clean and simple. Just def, the function name, parentheses, a colon, and you're good to go. What method would you use to add an item to the end of a Python list? Answer. Append dot. Explanation. When you, you want to add something to the end of a list, append is your best friend. It's super straightforward. Pro tip. Don't confuse it with extend, which adds multiple items, or insert, which adds at a specific position. Append is the go-to for adding one item to the end. Remember, append equals add to the end. What is the name of Python's built-in package manager that comes pre-installed with Python 3.4+. PIP. Explanation. PIP stands for PIP Installs Packages. Yes, it's a recursive acronym. Python devs love those. It's the tool you use in your terminal to install libraries. Before PIP, installing Python packages was a nightmare. Now it's as easy as typing one command. Fun fact. The name also comes from the pip character in Great Expectations. Very British, very literary. If you've ever typed pip install, you've used it. It's been included automatically since Python 3.4, so you don't even need to install it separately. What is the name of the Python enhancement proposal that introduced type hints to Python? Answer, pep484. Explanation. Okay, this is deep Python lore. PEP 484, Python Enhancement Proposal 484, was introduced in Python 3.5 and brought type hints to the language. Before this, Python was purely dynamically typed. Type hints let you annotate your code like this.